from King Gizzard, Mr. Michael Kavanagh. Um, yeah. 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 Good start. <laughs> Good. 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 Yeah. Good. Um, yeah. I've never done this before, but um, thanks for coming down. Everyone's so close. Good. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I actually don't know what I'm going to play. Um, but T2 gonna, like, Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll just play a bit and then... Um, yeah, I don't know. Hey, drum solo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> a bit and like, I don't know, it's cool that you guys can all see the drums up close and everything, you know, rather than out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But, um, so yeah, I'll just play a bit and then like you guys can ask me any questions and like, all that kind of stuff. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Sweet. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs>
you want to hear. Oh, no, 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 no. That? oh, that's hard. <laughs> I've actually never tried to play that. Alright, let me get a video. What is it? I've actually never tried to play that before, but um, I don't know, I just never bothered with it. It's too, it's too hard. Oh, the fast part in the middle. The oh, rolls, the all the bit. rolls. Oh, the, the drums. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> it's in 11. Yeah. Uh, we can count for you. You know, it's in 11. <laughs> that's, uh, that's easy. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's easy. But it's got the triplet thing that makes it interesting. Uh, mm. But that's boring. <laughs> Cats, can you do the start of Crumbling Castle? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now we're getting interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, all right.
guess like, yeah, I don't know. Like, what else do you want to hear? I had a techno bit of making tunnels. Oh, yeah. Someone asked me if I'd swordfish yet. The drums in, some of the drums in Timeland I recorded on an iPhone. Really? Really? Wow. There you go. Um, I played a bit of Gaia before, I don't know. Yeah. Some people like, yeah. Some people like to hear that. Yeah. yeah. The verse, yeah. I don't know, it's just like a little bell pattern. Mm. It's in nine. It's kind of fun. Mm. It's, yeah. Um, I don't know, this, uh, yeah, Gaia is like probably one of my favorite song, Giz songs to play. Um, because it started from the drum beat, yeah, and mm. then everything else came after that, which is kind of cool. Mm. We never really sort of done that before, um, but yeah, I just had this like idea in nine. I guess it's like some form of like paradiddle or something, if like you for all your drummers. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, but it's in nine, so I don't really know what it is, but it's something. <laughs>
some fourth color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acarine. <laughs> yeah, Acarine. Kepler. Kepler's Ooh. pretty good.
practice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favourite drum beat? Um, definitely the Gaia drum beat is mm. one of my yeah. favourites. But it's always real nerve wracking to play because yeah. it's hard. <laughs> yeah. um, How about from outside years, like of your own personal taste of music? Mm, I was like, I love, um, I just love like the old like James Brown, like yeah. really funky yeah. stuff. So it's like yeah. real fun to play. Like. Speed it up, you just like get James Brown on it. I'm just like chained to the drum yeah. kit, like taking orders. <laughs> yeah. It's good, it's how I like it. Do you want to actually? One question I was going to ask you was yeah. your singles are so strong, um, and I noticed a lot of like Belson, like Ginger Baker, like yeah. Rich Mitchell, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you mix it in with modern stuff as well, too. Yeah. Um, was it sort of those guys that got you on that kind of sort of vibe with like that? Because your singles, like, how did you develop them and like yeah. sort of how did that come about? And yeah, I think that's a good question. I think that the singles, like, I think I just got, I, I I just worked on my singles because I was like I, I I couldn't be bothered with the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like honestly, and then like, um, because I, yeah, I don't really I don't really use like double stroke rolls up much or like um, yeah, it's just kind of all singles. And then yeah, obviously like when um, you know like every Gizzard song is like. <laughs> Yeah, it's because I just like, um, yeah, because I, I don't know, I just worked on my singles because I couldn't be bothered with the other stuff, I guess. <laughs> like, honestly, I think so. Yeah. I think yeah. It's, it's become such a big part of your sound. Mm. You can identify you. Like, yeah. You know I mean? so. But the, but yeah, as you mentioned Louis Belson, who's like, I love that, like, because, you know, I listen to like a bit of metal and stuff, but like, not heaps. Um, but, um, the double kick thing comes more from like a big band jazz thing like you know there's like louis belsons and stuff who yeah. sort of like who, who who i guess like brought the double kick drum to like um to like jazz and big band drumming but he kind of used it he kind of used it in like a, a like a a bit more of like a, an orchestral kind of way which is like i guess that's why i kind of started playing double kick and and then obviously like you know i do all the triplety like kind of rock stuff with it like <laughs> Yeah, it's just fun to like, to like. started making some like thrash metal stuff so it kind of like helped a bit but um yeah 
Yeah. Are there any standout moments for you on your solo album where you thought, ah, that was sick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, what songs are on there? <laughs> Have a look. I don't know. I can't remember the songs. Oh, we got the sword fish, please. Um, so, well, yeah, um, I mean, like, sorry, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah, well, Two Skunks actually is, um, uh, I got that from, um, uh, this J-Lib record that I have, um, J-Lib, Mad Lib record that I have. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I kind of stole the groove again. I don't know, stole it, but, you know, um, borrowed. Yeah, <laughs> which is like a, it's like a jazzy kind of R&B thing. Mm -hmm that um yeah that i never really sort of um played with before what's that um Yeah. Um, oh yeah. So. Planets, your one. Planets. No. Um. So. No. That. Yeah. So the. My. My. It's like actually one of my favorite songs that Giz has, Giz has done. Um. Yeah. It's like well, one of my favorites. Um. Is a song that's going to be on Laminated Denim. Mm. <coughs> but um. Yeah. I don't know, I can't really give too much away. Yeah. But it's like, it's a 15, it's a 15 minute, just like, um, just like a space rock. Mm. Mm. Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's my hypertension and the other one? Hypertension, like? that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Right. so that's, yeah, it's one of my, it's, yeah, it goes for 15 minutes. It's going to be real fun to play live. Mm. Cool. And, um, awesome. yeah, like that's, that's definitely up there with like one of my favorite, my favorite things that we've done for sure. Yeah, definitely. I'm I'm too young to go to your show at uh, the upcoming tour. I met you the other day. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, do, do you reckon I could go to the security and be like, dude, listen, I know kids. <laughs> oh man, I would love for you to be able to do that. But um, I, just, yeah, I don't know. Hey, you can definitely try. <laughs> dude, try and if. I see you, then that's sick. <laughs> give it, give it your yes! best, give it your best shot. Give it your best shot, for sure. Um, Cass, can you tell us about, um, is there a crazy thing a fan's done or something? Yeah. Oh, fans done? Because yeah. obviously your fans, like a lot of them are nuts. Which is yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Best yeah. 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 So is there, a, is there a crazy thing that sticks out that fans done here overseas or just anywhere? Online. Um, <laughs> hey, that jacket's pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> nah, oh, like there definitely is. But yeah. A lot of yeah, a lot of the things. rowing maybe. Oh, the crowd. Yeah, the rowing. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's with that? I think that. I think it's the river, right? It's yeah. yeah that's I'm doing evil death row. I think. Oh, yeah. okay. That started. That, that started in the Netherlands. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And they just started rowing in the, in the, in the mosh pit. Everyone got down on the ground. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's crossing over. It's a phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. They'll be doing it at the tote soon. Or the, <laughs> yeah. all, the, like, hard, all the hardcore gigs. Yeah. 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 That's the manager of the tote over there. Can you get a garment? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what, what was your favourite band of the DIY? Um, Oh, Civic. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah they're like, yeah, yeah, Civic are one of, yeah, my favourite Melbourne bands. They're amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah anybody good, are they? good. Yeah. Has anyone else got any more questions? Yeah, yeah. I was going to, yes. I was right. going to say, it gives you so many, like, weird and wacky time signatures. Where did that, like, originate? Was that you who wanted to explore that sort of stuff? Was yeah. Was it maybe the other guys bringing ideas that happened to be in those weird 
the rhythms and time signatures. Um, <laughs> no, it was kind of like, yeah, it was kind of like me, Stu and Joey coming, mm-hmm. you know, coming from like us just like loving Tool and yeah. like, and like, you know, like King Crimson. And, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, and stuff like that. Like, yeah. And yeah, we always kind of wanted to just like play around with odd time signatures. Mm-hmm. And then I think the first like one was like float along, feel your lungs. Yeah. So that was like the first time we like messed around with like, um, like a five, four kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, and then we just like got real mm. deep into the math. Yeah. 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 You guys met Black Midi recently on the tour, right? Yeah. You heard their yeah, new yeah. album? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some yeah, wild yeah. drumming yeah. on that one. Yeah, yeah. Same, yeah, they're, yeah, they're amazing. Can't yeah. wait to see him live, like, first time in Japan. He's yeah. sick. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. He's <laughs> To Australia, yeah, 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 for sure. I think they, I think they, I think they might. Well, we need a sketches style album with them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, actually, Wait, little, little happened, collab for what sure. Happened, what happened to the Zanzibar gem? It's dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the end of the night then. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about? By the way, this is like one, I'm so flustered. This is one of the coolest things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 so oh, 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 oh. How good is this guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. and stuff like that, sort of how you came to you set up you've got <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, for um, sure. Um, yeah. CNC kind of got in touch like a few years ago and like they're, um, yeah, they're, and they've been amazing and like they, they, they just build me whatever I want and it's just like, yeah, it's, it's crazy. And, um, and yeah, like, I mean, one day I'll throw something crazy at him, some crazy idea, but um, yeah, I also just like keep it pretty simple these days, although, yeah, um, it is probably going to grow a little bit soon, but, um, yeah, they're just like, they're, they're just awesome. They, they, ba- they, they replicate all the vintage, um, Ludwigs and they're just like workhorses. So like, obviously you'd love to tour with like a vintage Ludwig yeah. or like, um, which would be sick, but like, it's just kind of like, it's just, it, it'll just break and like, yeah. you know, and like all that kind of stuff and like. Yeah, C and C, they're just like, yeah, the, the drums are just like so well made and yeah, they're just workhorses on the road mm-hmm. and um, yeah, they're sick and like, yeah, they just made me this orange, um, this orange one. Um, I've had this for a, probably a couple of years now and I have the exact same but in blue in America. Um, and yeah, and um but yeah, I'm not like, it's like, it's just like, they're just so sick because they don't, um, you know, they don't, they don't like hassle me or anything. They just want me on stage playing their drums. And, mm-hmm. um, but uh, yeah, and for the symbols, um, Dream, are, um, which you, I don't know, did you speak about Dream before? Oh, just a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just about um, just how we just got them and, you know, yeah. just got them in the shop. And they're such a great price point for what they mm. are. Mm. Um, like I was saying, like not everybody can afford like a really expensive ride, like a K or something like that. He's a salesman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so come see me after the show. And, uh, and, um, and yeah, and they obviously sound great. I mean, yeah. Um, and you, how did you come to sort of start using them? Um, um, yeah, well, it was like, yeah, it was like, as you said, um, I think we were in New York one time and I had like a K custom and that cracked. And um, yeah, we desperately needed another one. And went to like the um just a local music shop in Williamsburg and um and then the this was probably like five years ago, maybe maybe more. And um yeah, they had a dream there and like tried it, I was like, this is sick and it was just like a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars cheaper than everything else. Mm-hmm. And I, it was just, it just didn't make any sense. So anyway, I got it. <laughs> um and then um yeah, I've kinda of used them ever since, but I was just like buying them and like yeah. um just always just like loved them and then I think they found out that I used them and, and they just give, give them something. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Do you have like a couple of like favourite models that you like to use or um, recording or live or anything like that? Um, Do you record with dream symbols? Yeah, yeah, I record with dream symbols. I have like a couple of like old, like I've got like a 1920s like Zildjian like symbol <laughs> and, um, <laughs> at the studio. It's like cracked and stuff but I use that sometimes but yeah I've got like a 
mainly I just use the drinks, yeah, for yep. sure. But yeah, I have like all I have like all the different hats and stuff, so I can get heaps of different sounds. But um, the my main like the, the one of the best things is like this energy ride because it has, has a really good bell. And obviously, I use the bell heaps. Um, so yeah, the, the the bell is is um, huge for me. This um, we're playing this before, but. I don't really use it. So it's, this is a paper thin. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's um, it's it's really cool. But like, I don't use this live mm. because like it's kind of like it's not very versatile. But um, you know, it's cool when you do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the china I use heaps. Yeah, and then I just got like, I got obsessed with gongs recently. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, this, yeah, this gong, this one, this is, um, this is like a, it's a fan gong, which is like a wind gong. So this, it doesn't go gong, it goes like wind. Hmm. Like, um, Does it do your hand in on planes? Like get, getting it to another country? No, nah, this stays here. Oh, but, yeah. So I've got, the one in America I have is this. But it's the same. It's that, but it's the same size as that, oh. which is which is like kind of better. I like it better. Yeah. But yeah. So this and it has like a lot deeper tone, but this is just like a washy. And then, yeah, this is like more of the gong. <laughs> Session is gongs. Fair enough. Yeah. We can yeah. see why. <laughs> yes. Are you going to get a third gong? Yeah. <laughs> I all I was <laughs> Definitely. I don't think the other guys will let me, but. <laughs> oh, uh... Drop the drums and just play the gongs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Full gong setup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I've got one more question for you, and then we'll open up the floor if you guys want to ask some stuff. But I wanted to ask. Can you tell us, or just give us an insight, what's it like to be in King Gizzard? Like, can you yeah. sum it up in any way? Um, oh. It just seems, from the outside, like, so crazy, yeah, yeah. so good, you know. It's crazy, but um, it's also just, like, it's sweet because, like, with Giz, it's like, it, like, you can, it's cool, like, especially as a drummer, because, like, I can, like, obviously all our albums are so different. But like I can just play like so many different styles, mm -hmm. and um, obviously, and but I but, you know, if it wasn't for gears, I wouldn't have, you know, I'd pro I, you know, I'd be like just uh, like a rock drummer, you mm -hmm. know. But like because of gears and like just like the creativity of all the other guys, it's just like made us all like learn our instruments mm -hmm. a lot better and like explore different styles and everything. Um, but yeah, like that f as you know from a musician perspective perspective it's mm. it's it's mm. amazing it's, would, would it's you like say it's ideal band would you say it's influenced your drumming like a lot being oh, around those guys 100 yeah. percent. yeah it's just kind of like yeah those guys yeah those guys just like you know such good writers and insanely like creative and mm. like we all just have to like keep up with each other <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but yeah like it's yeah mm. See? and then yeah we're obviously just mm. like six like best mates so yeah, yeah it's like it's, yeah it's really, it's really cute um, but yeah yeah it's sick yeah it's cool we're, we're also like we're we're very like yeah we're very very lucky to be able to do what we do mm. yeah sure. and you're from melbourne yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Um, also by the way guys amy from stonefields over there somewhere round of applause mm. Gosh, Woo. Oh yeah, great band. Is she ever gonna play with you guys? Um, yeah, yeah, maybe. Drummer's second drummer. Yeah, that'd be sure. awesome. She drum, she drummed on a track on the. Yeah, that's right. On, on, yeah, yeah, didn't she drum at your wedding? Did you guys do like? Yeah, drum off. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who won? No, just me. 
All right, well, guys, we've got a sick giveaway to do. <laughs> but before we do, Whoa. questions, guys, from the floor. Anyone go? Yeah. Um, so speaking of you guys being best mates, there's a video on YouTube of you saying that Stu spits on your symbols, mm -hmm. and you just brush over it. Is there any context to why he's spitting on your symbols? Oh, he just spits in the air. Oh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't really do it much anymore. I think he's. I thought he was just turn around. And like... <laughs> no, no, he spit. He just spits in the air. And sometimes it lands on my symbols. You ever been, hit? You ever been like? No, nah, I've got splashback. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's like it's. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. What was your ATAR? <laughs> what was your ATAR? What's that? Um, is that a, is it, oh, oh, I'm from New South, South Wales. Wales. Oh. <laughs> is that is that the Victorian thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that your uni entry school like thing? Yeah. It's, 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 your, it's your school thing. Oh, okay. What was your ATAR? <laughs> I found school. <laughs> yeah, no, I, um, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't do. I did like year twelve and stuff, but I did good in music. Yeah, I did music. good. Yeah, nice. there you go. yeah. Yeah, you're still doing really good in music. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, Scotty, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. In your "What's My Bag" video from a couple of years ago, you mentioned that you wanted to learn how to do the double kick. Mm -hmm. How long did that take? Um, good question. Actually. Yeah. It, Oh, it's weird. It didn't like, well, because I didn't. I had, I got a double kick pedal not mm -hmm. long after saying that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and I didn't like I didn't really practice too much, um, with it. But then I but then when I got two kick drums, I found it a lot easier than using the double kick pedal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Uh. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's you get this like you kind of get the same like. Feeling, in this feeling on both legs yeah and then um yeah and then we just uh then we wrote uh rat's nest <laughs> and like sort of like practice a bit for that and then and i still wasn't even that good at it and then we started touring rat's nest songs and i didn't have a choice <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah 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 that's awesome um so yeah, yeah. The, now the double kick is like i kind of still like mm. i i, I kind of still i have to be like warmed up but mm -hmm. Um, now it's starting to sort of come a bit more natural to me, which is cool. Yeah. But... So, yeah, but yeah, I could definitely still like work on it, but yeah. What's the worst high kick? Or, I don't want to say this in a drum shop. <laughs> Was it Pearl? <laughs> nah, the worst high kit. Uh, there's been some, there's been some pretty ordinary tamas out there. Um, but just like, just like, kind of like, kind of like, early two thousands, late nineties, mm. like, oh, actually, the late nineties, like tamas. Were pretty, were pretty sick, but um, but only if you were like Lars or something. <laughs> like, you know, um, that girl. Yeah, but like, um, yeah, I don't know. I've yeah, definitely played some beat up kids. Before. Yeah. So what are they? How do you find being like the soul drummer of kid now, rather than mm. partner? Mm. Mm. Oh, I, it's it's sweet. I mean, it's like um, it's. Yeah, it's definitely like opened up the band a lot um, to be able to like jam and like um, a lot of our shows now are, like fully improv. Like we, you know, we'll, we'll play um, we'll play songs and then and the outro of a song can go for like twenty minutes and we can just do you know we just jam, yeah. um, which um, which has been really good and um, we kind of yeah we kind of didn't have that freedom. Um, yeah, but now we do, and it's yeah, and it's it's nice. It's like again, it's just like influence the band to like mm -hmm. do, just do more different shit. Yeah. 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 Got any more solo stuff on the way? Mm. Uh, yeah, working on some stuff. Oh. Yeah, just Woo! chipping away. Yeah. <laughs> with with solo stuff, since it's like so much stuff happening at once, what like what's the routine normally for recording that those songs? Um, like what comes first? 
Uh, uh, I like... Yeah, good question. I, I'll usually just like lay down like a groove that I think... Well, at least for that record. Mm. Some of the newer stuff I'm doing is um, kind of like a lot more orchestral. Um, oh, wow. And um, a bit more sort of like... Uh, like, yeah, orchestral and like ambient mm -hmm. kind of. Um, uh, but yeah, with that record, I just... Um, yeah, I just like lay down a groove and then like, I just like, I guess at the time I was just like obsessed with like polyrhythms and stuff. So, yeah. You know, it's just <laughs> like, yeah. But um, I kind of wanted the record to be like really hypnotic and like kind of like kraut rock kind mm -hmm. of vibes. Um, but yeah, obviously like all drums, but um, yeah. Do you have any tips for learning double kicks? Um, <laughs> Roger bye. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, um, I don't know. Like, um, I don't know. My osteo keeps telling me I need a better core. <laughs> but, um, uh, but, um, no, I don't know. I guess, like, you, like, it's weird because I have this thing that I, I do it with my wrists as well. Um, that I've, I kind of just trained myself, but I don't know how to like teach it or <laughs> give tips or anything. But like with like sixteenth notes, um, with my hands, um, I kind of like switch my hand into like gears. So I think of like my fingers as like that's like one gear, and then my wrist is another, and then my arms is another. So when I'm playing like sixteenth notes for like. 16 yeah. minutes yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. straight then um, I can like switch between fingers wrists mm. Um, mm. Um, and then yeah I kind of like sort of train myself to do that and then yeah and then you just keep switching and then um, and then I kind of train tried to train my legs to do the same thing so like or, or, or like leg and um, so yeah, you can use like kind of like use like your calves and use and your ankles and your, like your your thigh. They're like your three yeah. kind of gear. That's kind of how I think of it. And yeah. when I need to like maintain my like endurance, kind of mm. like switch mm. switch the gears, you know. Just, how, it's how, pretty weird. But. How often do you break drumsticks? And can I have that one? Yeah, you can. Definitely. There you go. Thank you very much. Just because you've asked so many questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's racing once every clinic. That's when he breaks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I actually, no, I was saying, because I, I don't, um, they didn't have any of um, the five A's in here, so I was using these ones. Mm. And I've never, yeah, I've never, never, I don't really break sticks that much. But, um, yeah, I don't break sticks that much. Yep. But when I do, they're always brand new. Yeah, Because right. um, if I... Yeah, usually have to sort of use. I use the same sticks that I use, like brand new pair at Soundcheck, mm -hmm. and I play with them, and then I use that same pair when we start the show. Yeah, right. Because the like I don't know, because if you just sometimes I'll grab a new pair and they'll break, you get a bad one. But it, you've got to be pretty unlucky. For yeah. That. But yeah, I don't break that many sticks. Yeah, right. Yeah. You use five A's. Did you say? Yeah, just five A's, just standards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Awesome. Mm. Mm. Seven A's. <laughs> <laughs> Seven A's are sick, yeah. Do you have a least favourite band? <laughs> <A> least? <laughs> no. I like them all. <laughs>